Uh, today we're going to talk about our Planet Top FD and Planet Top 15. Okay. Uh, both of these products are a form and pour and form and pump uh, product, one component. Um, you can see what we're going to do is we're going to put them in uh, these form boxes that we made. This one here has a little bit, uh, a little bit less rebar in it. And this one has a little bit more rebar. A little more it. crowded. Right. Now, the biggest difference between the FD and the 15, the FD has coarser sand in it. It has a corrosion inhibitor, and it's shrinkage compensated, where the Planet Top 15 has finer sand. It also has a corrosion inhibitor, uh, shrinkage compensated, but it has silica fume in it. And I think that's it. And dry oh, times? And fiber reinforced. And dry times, same? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, the dry times are a little bit different. This one over here, the FD, is an accelerated cure product. Right. Okay, where the, as the Planet Top 15 is going to take a little bit longer. Now, the nice thing about both of these products is you can use them horizontal and use them for uh, a topping, and then you can uh, put a breathable topping on it, like a leveler or one of our ultra top products or something like that. Interesting. Uh, on the FD, uh, you can put a topping down uh, like a set leveler within 24 hours, and you can put um, an epoxy on it uh, within three days. Talk to me about compressive strengths here. What are we talking about? Uh, the compressive strength on this one, you're going to get about 8,000 uh, PSI what? after... 28 days. 8,000. Holy cow. And this one? This one here, you're going to get close to 10,800 PSI. Oh, man. That's a lot. Absolutely. That's a lot. So, of people. again, this is, a, this is back to understanding the structure that you're repairing, what its design was, and what the compressive strength requirements are on that will help determine which one of these products you use. Right. Yeah. Now, now, both products you can pour up to four inches neat. And when I say neat, that's without extending it with pea gravel. Okay. Okay, so this one over here, the FD, would be a half inch to four inches. Okay. This one over here would be three eighths to four inches. All right, cool. And then you would extend it by 50% of the weight for the pea gravel if you wanted to go deeper or deeper than that. All right, well, let's let these people watch magic happen, man. Okay, the first one we're gonna pour I guess we have the 15 up there, so we could do the 15 first. Okay. And the 15, you're going to do with the uh, congested rebar. And right. LeMay Mitchell is going to pour it in now. All right. Now watch. We got, the, we got the young, big, strong guy to pour it. And as you can see, when he's pouring it, oh. it just goes in there really nice and just encapsulates the rebar with no problem at all. Mm -hmm. Now... Mm -hmm. That's a lot of rebar in it, but it can go in uh, forms with rebar going in every direction, twice as much rebar that's up there, and you'll have no problem at all. Very good. Now, you can see right below that, we have the finished product 24 hours later. Took the plexiglass off, and you can gum up, feel it, and see how nice it is. It's nice and smooth. Uh, and the finish is really nice. I'd pick it up and carry it around, but then someone would have to carry me to the bus, and then <laughs> just wouldn't be a good scene at all. <laughs> all right, next okay. one. So our, our next product that we're going to do is the Planet Top FD. Remember, this one has a coarser sand in it, right. uh, so you want to do it with a little bit less uh, congestion of the rebar, but you can still see that it flows really nice and, and encapsulates the rebar very good as well. And corrosion inhibitor, correct? Corrosion inhibitor yeah, and shrinkage compensated for both products. Now, why I keep pointing out corrosion inhibitors, I'm from South Florida, and corrosion is the number one problem. Any moisture, and, and water is sneaky. It's always getting in places you don't want it to get into. Once it gets to the rebar, we're in trouble. Right. So Now, besides the corrosion inhibitor, we would actually recommend uh, coating the rebar yeah. with our Planabon 3C or okay. our Mopifer 1K. Okay. Cool. Very cool. All right. 